Welcome back. Guess what? We're talking about the last continent today that we're going to discuss on our journey. Um, And that one is Antarctica. It's the fifth largest continent and it's ice and snow covered all year long. And guess what? There aren't very many plants that live there. And as a matter of fact, the plants that do live there, we wouldn't even recognize. The thing that you would recognize are the animals that live there like seals and penguins and whales. So let me read what it says on this page. Antarctica is the end of our journey. Antarctica is the coldest and windiest continent of all. Because of that, not many people live there. Scientists and explorers go there to investigate this frozen land, and sometimes tourists go there too. Tourists are people that are going on a vacation, and they want to check things out. All right, let me show you where Antarctica is. It's down here, way at the bottom of our globe, or the Earth, um, the South Pole. So it's very, very cold. It's below Australia. This is just a part of it right here at the very bottom. So that's where Antarctica is located. All right, so on this page, it talks about how scientists and explorers go there to investigate. And I just want to explain that investigate means to explore or learn about something. When people investigate, they look for facts or information. Now, why do you think a scientist, um, or what do you think a scientist might do in Antarctica? Well, if you said study things in nature, such as the animals, plants, stars, rocks, and weather, well, you're right. That's exactly why they go there. And why do you think they'd be interested in studying those things in Antarctica? Well, they're really interested to learn about special animals that can live in ice and snow all year long. Not many creatures can do that. And they're also interested to learn about the special types of weather that they have there. Penguins are birds that live in Antarctica, and you can see them right here. They're so cute. Look, here's a baby. Penguins do have feathers. Their feathers are shorter than most other bird feathers. Although penguins cannot fly, they are expert swimmers. Both mom and dad penguins care for their young. And then let's look down here. These are called krill. What are they called? Krill. Good. Krill are shrimp-like creatures that live in the waters of Antarctica. They are, they are a main food for the whales, penguins, seabirds, and sharks that live there too. So this is what a lot of those animals will eat. And he's a little guy. He's This picture is blown up. Um, that's not the actual size of a krill. Krill are very, 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 very tiny. All right, here's our Color of the Continents uh, workbook page. And guess what? We actually aren't going to color anything today because here's the um, Antarctica way down here. And we're going to keep it white. Why do you think we might keep it white? Right. If you said it's because it's covered with ice and snow all year long, you are absolutely correct. So Antarctica is going to stay white. Now look at this. We've gone through all seven continents. Let's see if you can remember the names of them. Let's start with the first one we talked about. Do you remember what this continent is called? This one is North America. This is where we live. We live in the country of the United States of America, which is right here in the middle. But this is our continent, North America. All right, what about this one? If this is North America, what is this one called, think? This one is South America. Good. All right, then we learned about this continent in green, think. This one is Europe. What's it called? Europe, that's right. All right, and then we visited this big yellow one. What was that called? Think. That's Africa. Nice job. And then this was the largest continent. What is this one called? Think. This one's Asia. And then here's the smallest continent. What's this one called? It's also an island. Think. Australia. And then we just learned about this guy today. What's he called? Antarctica. Well done. We've just finished our trek around the world. All right, now that we have finished our visit with Antarctica, we're going to glue our stickers from our passport book. So turn to page eight. Whoops. Page eight, and it says Antarctica. And the first sticker we'll glue on is this right here. Who lives inside of this building? Do you remember who goes to visit Antarctica the most? It's the scientists, right? They're there doing research and investigating. So we're going to glue this sticker on just so that we can remember that a lot of scientists visit Antarctica. 
All right, next let's glue this sticker on. What kind of animals are those? Those are penguins, that's right. Very good. And then we're gonna glue this guy on there. Remember, he's a really good food source for a lot of the animals there. Do you remember what he's called? He's called a krill. Great job.